Hi everyone, it's me, Gracie here. As you can see, we are going to be starting on Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Oh my gosh, I have been waiting to post this for a long time, but it's finally here. But um, here's the thing. Uh, you see, I've already played Heart Gold Soul Silver in my childhood, as along with Crystal, which um, I could show you my old file of Crystal, but as you can see, let me see if I can find it real quick. As you can see from here, it's actually the file for Crystal, which we'll be doing um, when we actually get there. And this happened. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it says the file has been corrupted. So, um, yeah, we're not going to be able, I um, won't be able to show you my old file in the Crystal version because it's already dead and destroyed. So, yeah, and I think it's pretty much about to end its run as well. So, hopefully, it doesn't happen in the middle of the video series because we are going to shoot crystal as well and give you guys some differences of the remake and the original which i actually never done before which will be first time and also i want to give you guys a little bit of what's going on in my old file so we're going to make this like a mini series yes it'll be an actual mini series not like last time oh gosh that took forever <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so I'll give you a mini-series of my old file before you erase it for the whole walkthrough, if you guys don't mind, and we're gonna go ahead and get started, shall we? Here we go. Yes, I actually have Soul Silver. I've actually had this ever since Robbie first gave it to me. Because he was like playing around in his old file. He's like, you know what? I'm going to give it to you because I cannot complete this anymore. And so I played it again and it just felt like the old days. Okay, so the version is going to be a little bit different. Since I'm playing Soul Silver, uh, when we get to the walkthrough, we'll get Lugia instead of Hello, because Hello is going to be in the post game. However, if you're playing Hard Gold, Hello is going to be in the main series. However, I'm playing Soul Silver, so that's going to be different. But at least you can get both, unlike some other games that I played in the past. <sighs> Look at that. Now, I've actually heard that if you're playing hard gold, so Hell will actually be soaring across the sky instead of swimming in the ocean like Lugia is right now. Here we go to my childhood games in three, two, three, two, one, three, two, one. Oh yes, um, if you also have been here since Sun and Moon, yes, I did get my style. I did find my stylist. It was actually in a bag the whole time. That's why I couldn't find it, because normally it'd be lying on the floor, but it was actually in a bag for some reason. So yeah. Uh, well, we're not going to use this stylus when we actually start the main series because I actually have another stylus plan. But yes, as you can see, I did have, I do have an old file. Yes, this is my old file, guys. I know it's not my real name because I actually looked up the um, main characters, which were Ethan and Lyra. And uh, as a kid, I thought Ethan was the main character in Heart Gold, and Lyra is the main character in Soul Silver. It wasn't until I find out, and it wasn't until I found out Ethan was the main character in both series. In both games. So, yeah, I'll be deleting Lara in, like, 
I don't know when, but pretty soon. But for now, let's go ahead and see what she has, shall we? Yeah, so I'm actually in bed, and I did get this trophy. You can actually get this out of uh, the battle frontier, but I'll tell you about that later. So, yes. Let's go ahead and check out the Pokemon, and they're all level 100. It's my files pretty much been complete for, like, a long time. So, yeah. But as you can see, we have Meganium, Togekiss, Haunter. I don't have any friends to so trade this thing, okay? That's why it's still a Haunter. I'm gonna make sure not to get a Pokemon that doesn't evolve through Link Trade in the main series. But anyways, let's get started on the rest of the Pokemon. I got Slowbro, Flareon, and Dragonite. So yeah, um, to all the Meganium haters out there, come on guys, give Meganium a break. I do like its design. I know it's not the best starter, but I do know that it can pack a punch when it needs to. Okay? Sadly, I won't be using Meganium again in the main, in the, when we actually, uh, start over the game, but I still want to, you know, I still like Meganium design. Alright, let's go ahead and go over to Terry Grove City to look more into this, so, to see what other Pokemon I caught over the years. Now, I actually haven't caught in Pokemon ever since, like, um, ever since, like, I think around 2016 or 2017. It's been that long. I took a year off of this game, and, uh, when Robbie gave me his, when Robbie, uh, gave me, uh, Moon as a present, I was like, okay, maybe I want to come back to playing Pokemon. So, yes, there are some Pokemon that I am still training at the moment, even though I'm going to delete the file, but I want to see how far I can get to before that time comes. So, yes, we have, I'm going to go ahead and do the summary. So, we have Starmie, Pidgeot, Weevil. Tinnacool, Crobat, Tyranitar, Himachan, Radikit, Ampharos, J Jumpluff, Quagsire, Victory Bell, Sunflora, Hypno, Golduck, Machoke, Fero, Mammoth Lion, I think you guys can just read it from here. Oh yes, these two artists, I was actually going to save these, um, whatever, um, how do I say it? I was going to save them to like the level... 40 something, they're almost at that time where I would give them the rare candies, have them evolve, and then get the stones and evolve them immediately because I do not like Oddish's next evolution, which is Gloom. Like, seriously, it looks like it's drooling all over the place. And I do not like that design. At least I have the stones ready for them when they're done, but still. Alright, here's Honk's Cook, Fairy, Blastoise. Actually, okay, you can actually get this in, um, Palatone, um, as a starter, but only after you defeat Red, but that's another story, so, yeah. Let's see. I don't think, okay, I don't think you can actually do this in the original series, you can only do it in the remake, so, yeah. Alright, let's see, we got Ponytail, Tangela, Pikachu, with a light ball, so, yeah, I made sure to have it hold that. And it's a female, so I'm not sure if I'll be evolving it to right to you at this moment, but still. Oh, and this. You can actually get these whenever, like, some sort of radio plays. It's been a long time since I last, uh, heard it, but yeah, there's some Holland Pokemon, there's Sinnoh Pokemon, and, uh, so forth. So, yeah. Holland and Sinnoh. So, yeah, here's right now, Spinda, Opto, you guys get the picture. Most of these Pokemon are at least level 40, which I'm still training, by the way. I found some good training spots for all these Pokemon to level up, so, yeah. Which is either mouse over, or I can just call some gym leaders, and actually get them to rematch, and that way I can level up, but I'll show you guys how to do that in a different video. Okay, these are what I caught in the Safari Zone, as you can see by the Safari Ball that I have right there. So yeah, there's Polywall, Gravola, Onyx, Magnemite, Jigglypuff, Mr. Mime, Mistrevious, Drafric, Tabra, Ligatine, Ekin, Coughing, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, and also I did label the box as Safari so that you guys know that I caught them in the Safari Zone. 
Most of the stuff I already done in the main story, don't worry. And the bugs? As for the bugs, I actually caught these in the bug catching contest. And if you don't believe me, I have the ball to prove it. Now, it may look like an ordinary Pokeball, but if you see that design thing up on top, you know that I actually caught it in the bug catching contest. So, yeah. Uh, these Pokemon will change over time, depending on, like, if it's going to be Hoenn Pokemon you're catching, or Sinnoh Pokemon you're catching. I think I think Kata was actually a bug type. It was, like, some sort of bug. Okay, these are powerful, I actually mean, like, legendary Pokemon. And yes, I know what you guys are thinking. Shodawoodoo, Lapras, and the two Gyaradoses are not legendary Pokemon. But I used to think that as a kid, okay? So... Can't break the tradition. Well, actually, I will be breaking the tradition since I'm actually going to use one of these as, as the main uh, Pokemon team, but still. Oh, and I might use Lapras, actually, on the main series. Uh, it depends if I get it or not. But, as you can see... Ah, dang it, I did not want to choose that. As you can see, you can get this on, like, a Friday, I believe, in Union Cave. So, it's going to be, like... Um, I'm trying to remember how it was. It was, like, Union Cave... Um, Union Cave, um, like at the bottom of the thing where the sea is or so. I I'll show you guys when it happens, but, um, until then, there's Lapras. Yeah, I should have you. You can get this whenever you use that water spray thing. Okay, shiny Gyarados, like a rage. I just got this just to make things the same, okay? So, yeah, these two Gyaradoses, and I could not have room to... I, uh, like, change its name to, like, SP Gyarados, or Shiny Gyarados, or all that stuff. Okay, Raikou, got this in a fastball. Got into it in a Master Ball. Don't judge me and say, Oh, wait, you could've used a Master Ball on something else. Yeah, where? Where am I gonna use a Master Ball, guys? Like, other than legendaries. Anyways, uh, so Suikun, I got this in a Net Ball because of the Water type. Oh, and Raikou is a fastball because I did actually get it. Because it seems pretty fast, and the book said that it recommends me to use the fastball, so I did. Okay, Lugia got this in a dust ball because World Island does count as a cave. Uh oh, I got this in the dust ball. I think it's only. I think the dust ball was only effective whenever it's weakened. I don't remember exactly what the description is. But it's, I think it's something along those lines. That this. Okay, Moltres and Articuno and Zapdos, they're all in, um, Ultra Balls, along with Snorlax and Mewtwo. And same with Latias, which, um, you can actually get these two, um, like, sometime around the story, I don't exactly remember, but, anyways. Rudon, you can only get as soon as you're done defeating Red, I believe. So, yeah. Mewtwo, got that in Cerulean game. You know... I was really disappointed in the original games where you can't catch Mewtwo. Like, I saved my Master Ball for that. Now, I know what you guys are thinking if you're actually world here, like, you've actually been here for a long time, and said, But Grace, didn't you say you used your Master Ball on Suicune? Yes, but that was when I first played Crystal, because I played Crystal several times as a kid. Like, I played it over and over again. Same way thing with Heart Gold, same thing with Soul Silver, except I only played Soul Silver once. Like, the entire playthrough one. And I can't believe I'm actually gonna do it twice again. Anyways, um... Here's Snorlax, which you can get off the... Uh, off of the... Vermilion City, I believe, like, beside, like, Pasta and such. Okay, you can actually get these birds off of, um... I don't know if you can actually get them in the original games, but still. So yeah, here's the stuff. Okay, as for our Raikou and Team Speaker, we're actually not going to catch these in the Crystal Game. We're going to actually catch the, these two, three legendaries in here instead. Because, yeah. I just want to, okay? Okay, so... Oh, right, right. I know what you're thinking as well. Snorlax is not a legendary Pokemon, but come on, guys. Ever since a kid... Okay, this was me as a kid when I was being a novice trainer at the at by then at the time. I've always thought that Snorlax, Shudawoo, and Lapras were legendary Pokemon, and I thought these two were actually legendary Pokemon as well. Okay, this was when I was a kid. Okay, 
I'm older, I now realize they're not legendary Pokemon anymore. Or at least that's what I thought. Okay, now the symbols. Which, I know they're pronounced, I know they're unknowns, but come on, they look like glitter symbols to me. That's why I named the box that. And yes, as you can see, I did nickname them. So, going in order from symbols A to Z, we got A, B, C, D, E. Okay, I better not sing the alphabet, that's baby stuff. Don't question anything. So, as you can see, I did get all the unknown symbols. And there's actually the exclusive question mark and exclamation mark that I actually caught in Premier Balls. Instead of like the regular Pokeballs because they're exclusive and I bought Premier back then meant like exclusive stuff. So yeah. Speaking of exclusive, I may have to do that for the Hoenn Center Pokemon whenever that happens again. But yeah, that's that's all the Pokemon I had in all this time in my old file. So yeah. Pretty much a record. There's not many shiny Pokemon as there were in some other old files I had. But that's good. So yeah, I still train these Pokemon. I won't be doing that anymore. Ethan, it's up to you, one. You can save you can save your speech and everything and, and when you get to the walkthrough. You know what I'll I'll call him. Hello, right, this is Ethan. How are you? It's so helpful the Pokemon Center will hear your Pokemon for you for free. The first thing I do every time I arrive in town is look for the nearest Pokemon Center. Give it the great work, Lyra. Okay, Ethan. You'll be doing this whenever you get to your main series. Okay, now that that's taken care of, I don't know if we actually- Oh, man, I forgot to put that thing on. Okay. Now, I don't know if the uh, radio works, but, um... This is how you'll get your Sinner and Hoenn Pokemon. If you, like, go on your radio stuff, they might play uh, the Hoenn music or the Sinner music, depending on what day it is. That's not it. No, that's not it. Okay, I don't think it's doing it at the moment. Yeah, it's not doing it. Okay, well, um, I'll have to look at the routes again and um, when we get to the series, but other than that, so, yeah. So that's it for this video. There's nothing much you can do in this, in your trainer card, other than just look at their uh, stuff and see how much play time is. Yeah, and I have a lot of money still and all that stuff. And also, there's my Hall of Fame. Yes, I started this thing in like 2014, and I ended in 2016. Don't ask questions why it took me that long to just, just like do the whole thing. There was just a lot of extra stuff that I got carried away with it, and forgot to take on the Pokemon League, okay? So, yeah. Don't ask questions. Alright, so yes, you can actually sign your trainer card in, in here. I don't know how you do it in Diamond and Pearl, but at least in Heart, Gold, Soul, Silver, you can actually do that. So yeah, there's a lot of stuff that you can do in this game, and it got me carried away to where I forgot to take on the Elite Four, and yeah, pretty much that. So, at least in Crystal, it took me like a week to complete the entire game, but still. So yeah, we have a lot of places to do during this mini-series. We'll be going to uh, the um, National Park, ignore that, because that's actually a trainer battle or such. So yeah, we're going to be doing on the National Park in the next video. We're also going to be taking on the Battle Frontier. Yes, you can actually do that. And the Safari Zone, we're actually going to wait until the main series to do that. So yeah, there might be some other stuff we'll be doing later on. I'll just have to think of something. But until then, that's it for this video. I know it's pretty short, but at least it's an introduction. So until then, guys. I will see you guys later. I'm flying out of here. With the turbo just behind me. <laughs>